Hello. Good day, everybody. Hi. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. It's hard, you know. It's hard for me to like figure out like how do I like, how do I show things off? How do I do things correctly, you know? Now we're obviously we're hiding. We're we're skirted up in here. Okay, and we're we're currently floating, but I guess we gotta do it one way or another, right? Okay. Well, first off, you got, you know, the feet. You gotta enjoy yourself. But look, chat. I have steppies. I can step. Look at this chat. I can step again. It's so weird having steps. <laughs> Why is it weird for me? But it is. <laughs> like, it's so weird having feet that move. You know what I mean? Feet that move. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, where'd my thing go? Uh, do, 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 knees. Look at my knees. Same thing, though. And of course, look at this chat. My, my arms, they move. Look at my movement and my crotch, but still. Okay. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just gonna do, 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 do. Ah, ha, ha. Hello. I'm small. <laughs> I am very small, but I'm here. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. Three, two, wait, hold on. Do I have four jump buttons? Make sure. Yes. Ha, 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 ha. Hello. I'm alive. We're here. Huzzah. Beware, for I am him who comes in shakingly. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, we made it later. We finally here. Oh, I'm too tall. Uh, uh, real back. Real back, big fella. Real back, big fella. Beep. Okay, there we go. Ha ha ha. Hi. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We have a face. <laughs> we have a face chat. And there's so much flowiness and poofiness, and I like it. Hi. Oh. Uh, let's see. How am I going to do this here? All right. Well, first off, for first and foremostly, chat, everybody here today in this community and to the crew, I'd like to wish everybody a happy happy new year because we we haven't streamed in a while it's been since christmas actually i think uh we've been offline chat since christmas for vacations commission items and all manner of things and then i was like wait we can be live again with the new model hell yeah oh beyond 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 excited about the chat hell to the yeah, man. But hell yeah, Tatum Sensei, thank you both for being here today, joining us for the debut. I had my first stream back in like three or four weeks. That's right. Nice. Well, congrats on that. Nut. <gasps> Where's the nut? Where's the nut? The nut didn't activate chat. I'm not hearing the nut. I'm sad. <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, so fun thing, guys. Uh, the theme song that you guys heard back in um back in the starting soon was actually made by our good buddy DJ Kisuke. Uh very thankful for the uh, the work that he put into that. Um Dicks! Thank you for the dicks. Why did nut not work? Huh. I'll have to figure out why that didn't work then. That's weird. It's weird, chat. Why is it not working? Hold on. Let me double check here. I'm pretty... Uh, you know, it's not funny. I bet you even, like, there's always a scuff thing somewhere. Somewhere, somehow, chat. I don't know. But yes, so, for those who, um... For those who did not... Who have not uh, heard it yet, uh, we have two new theme songs to, to announce and say what's up, what's good. Um, I can magically do the thing I'm supposed to do here because I'm trying my best. It's hard. But yes, uh, this is a song by our friend DJ Kisuke. Uh, the song is known as Nico's Requiem. This is what you guys heard during the beginning, and very pumped, very excited to have. I have a theme song. <laughs> I, I I have a song chat, and I'll tell you what it is. It's it's very wonderful. I like it a lot. It's very wonderful. And then chat, we have a second theme song as well that you guys haven't heard or maybe not have heard yet. This one is known as. Uh, Night Runner's Revenge, another song made by my man DJ Kisuke. Also, um, if you guys ever do want to check out some of the songs that my man Kisuke has ever done, uh, we made his own little command. But yes, I'm so, so here for it, man. Ah, uh, 
guys i'll tell you what, it has been it's been really hard for me not to like just go live with just like a, a teaser stream you know because like for me like the hardest part about this model is like i've been trying for the past two days to like modify get things to work better and just like better understand things like like i love this hell yeah oh so i want to take a moment here to kind of show you guys like what this model can do officially um if i can magically learn where all my stuff is we'll be good to go but yeah so one thing i'm not used to chat is my eyeballs like like look at my eyes they jiggle they have things inside them it's so nice but let's go. I want to go ahead and do a quick little thing here to um, give a shout out to the man who. Oh my God, he's hot! <laughs> Wait, hold on. I gotta do a thing here. Hold on. Oh no, he's hot! <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, hi, Pika. Good to see you, you fantastic individual. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, me. <laughs> oh, heck yeah, dudes. But hi, Pika. Good to see you. Pika approves. You bet your ass you approve. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, if you guys want to ever check out other things made by my man DJ Kisuke, besides our theme songs, uh, he is available on SoundCloud, Spotify, I found out, and Bandcamp. Having eyeballs is amazing. It is amazing. Like, chat, I can... I can look. I you guys can see where I'm looking. I'm not just constantly, constantly just like, brah, just like staring at you into the abyss of the world. Oh yeah, I found out just like a few minutes ago. I found out I can do this. Mwah. I can kiss. I can kiss the screen. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can do this properly. Uh, yes. Dicks. Dicks indeed. <laughs> <laughs> uh chat we can we can we can smooch i can smooch the camera Mwah. <laughs> uh, but really quick though guys the model here give me a smooch okay oh, hold on hold on hold on i'll give you give you the biggest smooch i can give you Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> uh what's kind of fun too Tess, like i just have like the expressiveness behind this model is wonderful you know like just the general expressions that i can do what sharp teeth you have yes i have things i have the chompers chat your boy's got the chompers <laughs> oh but yes guys so the model was made by uh a very talented by the name of uh shiki l2d for the rigging um let's see if i can i'm trying to see if i can do this here properly uh all of my uh proper credits chat from the logo the emotes and everything else they are all in my bio so that way you guys can uh check out some of the people but the rigging was made by uh shiki live 2d who is here on twitch a uh, very talented individual did a lot of stuff. Um, time to stretch. What if I just don't wanna? I don't wanna stretch. I don't wanna stretch. I don't wanna. I don't wanna stretch. No, 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 no. <laughs> but um, but yes. No, like I said, very pumped, very excited about all these, like, just really cool things. And a uh, fun thing as well, chat. We also, uh, I'm very excited to announce that we also have um, new emotes available. Well, technically they're animated emotes, but all the same, you know. We have a new uh, peeking emote that I um, took the opportunity to make, a little peeker kind of thing here. Um, we have a new kind of, like, angry face emote. It's just recordings of my, of my main model, but once we receive more funds throughout our job and commissions and such like that, we'll definitely add more like VTuber specific models, just so it's a bit more fun for you guys. Also, chat, fun thing. I have a new series of stuff. What's up, Mono? Good to see you. Hope you're having a great day and welcome in. Also, guys, before, and I know for those who are in our community, by the way, um, those who are in our community, before you ask, yes, the, the things that did 
remain the same. We do have the much, the much beloved and great flan hat. It doesn't, this ain't gonna go away chat. I may have more jiggly hair, but chat, I can do the model nut. <laughs> There's my nut. I found the nut chat. The nut still works. But yes, we got, we got the jiggles chat. You can't get the jiggles off me. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh, and yes, chat. We also have a bunch of new, um, a bunch of new channel points. We have a bunch of new channel points available as well. Um, it took me, it's funny. I never really thought I was going to take this much time to try to make the model functioning, but you know, I, I found that like this whole thing is insane. It's very much insane. <laughs> and it's been the past, it's been a really wild and long two days chat. Um, I spent the past two days trying to work on parameters, work on like overlay or commands and all sorts of stuff. And we also have a new bot. Um, whenever we get uh, bits, subs, follows and stuff like that and raids, we do have a very, very special um, uh, program that activates whenever we get those types of things. I'm very excited about it. Actually, uh, I want to see. I want you guys to meet Geneva, but I need to figure out. I need to go over and I need to wake Geneva up. Standby chat. You guys will love Geneva. Geneva is a very lovely individual. A little aggressive. A little aggressive, but she makes up for it in personality. You guys will love, love Geneva. Let's see here if I can magically find her. Geneva! Where are you, madame? Ah, okay. Found her chat. Okay, so really quick, I want to show you guys this. This here is our new robotic assistant, Geneva. Whenever we have things happen, we have these sorts of things. So, so for example, whenever we get subs, if it works. New subscription received. Dispensing gratitude. Gratitude dispensed. Yay! But yes, guys, I'd like to have you officially meet Geneva, who is our uh, robotic. She's our third party. Ex she's our third party combat drone slash defense system, because she is in charge of all things that happen from the outside of the world. Jake says, "Hey, Nico, check out this oh God. tweet I made." Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Ray, 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 Ray. Oh my God. Ray, 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 Ray. Oh my God, I love it. Ray, 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 Ray. God. Ray, Ray. <laughs> oh God. Well, on the upside. Oh wait. Oh yeah, we also have that too, chat. We have sparkly eyeballs. Look at my eyeballs, chat. Hold on. Hold on. You must see the eyeballs. The eyeballs are here. Hold on. Eh. Eh. Eyeballs. Be shiny. Shiny eyeballs. Yes. <laughs> oh wait, no, wrong. Wrong hand signal. But yeah, chat, I'm also very excited. I have a, I took the liberty of uh, doing a lot more with my hands this time around, chat, because um one of the things I've been trying to do for a while is I, I never put effort into the hand signals chat. So guys, whenever you guys see this, this thing, I want you all to know something. I'm doing uwu fingers right now. And if you guys don't know what the uwu fingers are, hold on. Uh, let me see if I can magically figure out where this is. Eh, woo. Eh, woo. Fingers. Yeah. Okay. So basic chat, whenever you guys see me doing the heart emoji thing, uh, blah. Oh wait, wrong thing. We're, do we're doing this. This is how, this is how we have to summon the uwu fingers chat. We have to do it with the twin hands doing the pointer finger thing. It's, I don't know why I chose this, but it's the way it has to be. You know, we have to have the uwu fingers in some way, shape and fashion. Some fashion. <laughs> 
Okay, uh, trying to figure out what else we gotta do here. Oh, and we have, we have a bunch of other things here, chat. Um, I am gonna do another fun bit here. Uh, so today, chat, I'm gonna be doing a fun little thing here to kind of give us a little bit more of a, uh, more of a dramatic means of showcasing all of, like, do like a fun little, um, like 50 questions sort of thing. We're gonna be spinning the wheel of things and we're gonna find out, we're gonna, I'm gonna try to figure out what are we gonna talk to you guys about? What are we gonna, what am I gonna reveal about the new stuff and the new year and the new everything? All right, we got the first thing going on. And the first thing we're gonna be talking about is... Hey, all right, hell yeah. We're gonna talk about me being an artist. So for those of us who do not know, I am indeed a full-time graphic designer and I make sticker art for a living. And every morning here on Twitch, we typically make uh, sticker art while I do my IRL job. And of course, chat for those who are like, oh God, he's a bot. Oh no, trust me guys, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good bot because I actually make all of my own personal items. But if you guys have never seen my art before, um, we do have a fun little bit here. I can magically, I'm like, I'm like, we're, we're going through a lot of things here. I'm trying, it's hard. But yes, like I said, I make stickers for a living and these are kind of like some examples I've done. If you guys want to see more of it though, we have a whole big section available on our Twitter. You can do a ha hashtag, um, hashtag silver art to find and discover all of my personal, uh, designs that I have made over the years. Nico's a bot confirmed. Okay, I'd rather be called a bot than Gojo, okay? I'm just saying, chat. Like, I want y'all to understand here, right here and right now. All right? So, like, Gojo, JJK. We're two very different people. No, oh, where's my boy? Where's my boy at? Hold on. We gotta, we gotta prove, we gotta, we gotta prove it. We gotta prove it, big fella. All right, you guys, you guys see this right now? Oh wait, no, you can't. Let's see. Yeah. See if I can't do this here. I'm failing. I'm failing horribly. But yeah, I've had like eight people on my YouTube today saying, "Oh my God, Satoru Gojo became a YouTuber or a VTuber." It's like I'm not Gojo though. Then again, there's a segment of that. A segment of me did do this. Hold on, I need so I can. Hide OBS from screen capture. Apply. There we go. Yes. But yeah. <laughs> so the kind of the fun thing actually to kind of give a little bit of a context to that is, so you are Gojiko. Gojiko? <laughs> it's not Gojo Kai. It's, Go it's Gojiko. Gojiko? Gojiko. But yes, guys. So my model um, was initially created, or at least the concept behind my model was I wanted to have... Of course, our OG uh, body figure, because in case you guys haven't seen the whole thing, we're still long. We are still a very, very long boy. But chat, look at that. I have feet. I have legs that move. I want you guys to like, understand, like, like, the sheer difference in quality of this model compared to our last model is beyond what I expected. Like. Like chat, I have hips. Look at my hips, chat. I can literally, like, I can't floss, but I can shake my hips. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, just shaking my hips, it just feels so funky. Just, eh, eh, floss, floss. Oh my god, could you imagine? Like, could you guys imagine if I could floss on this model? That would be absolutely hilarious. <laughs> absolutely hilarious. I still got the leg. I still got leg game more than the average individual, which is. Fantastic. <laughs> but yes. Oh, and then chat. This is also like my favorite toggle. I want to show you guys my new, my current favorite toggle that I'm so pumped for. So chat, we officially have boop, a gaming controller. I can game on this model and it works, chat. Like, look at this. I have a PlayStation. I have my own custom PlayStation 5 controller. It's absolutely lovely. It's, it is a glorious, glorious item. Now, this, this, this segues me into the next part here, chat. I wanna give, uh, um, I wanna give some awesome shout out and love to our, uh, our live 2D artists who made my face and my, uh, and helped rework a lot of parts of my model. 
um we have the amazing kidamin who is also a very awesome vtuber here on twitch as well oh hold on i can do it i can do this here i know how to i know how to stream eh. so yeah chat oh sagma it doesn't like me chat hold on i will i will do this okay we'll do it like this then we're gonna do it the, old, the secondary way chat so yeah so this is kinemon's twitter uh very amazing super cute art style um highly recommend their efforts and their work uh very talented in, in what it is that they do um they helped make a lot of what i asked for possible um I honestly got more out of like what they asked of me. Like I got more than what I initially asked for in terms of quality of everything, because initially chat, I didn't realize that my model. Hell. Sorry, my, I heard things blow up. I was like, I was very scared. I was very scared. I was like, oh God, what happened? Is someone raided my Twitch, my discord already? Crap. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's me. Meh. Anyway, um, but yes, so Kinemon is a very talented artist. They do a lot of really cool, uh, cute, very adorable art style. Um, they have made a ton of VTubers, highly recommend them. I believe their commissions are actually available as of right now, but like I said, super awesome, very great art style. And then chat, I want, while we're here on Twitter, I also want to kind of showcase to you guys uh, Shiki's uh, work. Uh, Shiki is a very talented uh, live 2D animator. They actually have done some stuff for some idol uh, corporation VTubers. Very good artists, uh, very good styles of work. Um, they're, all, they're, all, they're actually off, on pretty often too. So highly recommend their efforts and their work. And then of course, those of us who do not know, um, the individual who made my body, unfortunately, I don't know how to say their name, but this is their Twitter handle. Uh, their link is also in my bio as well but they are a very very talented mech style artist uh for those who are very who are familiar in the uh corporal corporal corporate vtuber scene uh they actually made the body for zentrea's mech model so the model prior to her current dragon form um i'll tell you what chat one thing i've learned when i was doing this whole commission process back in november it is so so hard to find people who are willing to do mech models chat mech models in the vtuber space are insanely difficult like it's it's hard it's hard to like it's hard to find artists who not only are comfortable with mech models but then it's hard to find people who are willing to rig them and i want to take a moment to kind of showcase you guys like the difference between this current model with like the motions and all that and I want to kind of showcase you guys like our previous model, um, just to kind of give you guys a fun perspective. And I love both models, chat. I love both models extensively. Now, like you guys can see, like just just right off the bat, like a general difference in regards to the things. And like I love this helmet. The helmet design for me is very wonderful. But like one thing that I found to be like the biggest difference is like it's the degree of motion and my artist did an amazing job on this model and i'm very thankful for them helping me have the confidence to get to be going into vtubing and you know like this like our new model chat it's great because i've already seen just like an, an absolute amazing result with our community you know like youtube i've already done a couple of youtube shorts with the new model chat and there's already so much more engagement and you know, I think what's kind of funny is like, you know, basically I got a facelift if you're going to call it anything chat, but like Kinemon did a lot more than I initially anticipated just because like they put so much more effort into the breaking apart of models. They put a lot more effort into, you know, putting like creating legitimate layers for my model. And that part to me stuck out a lot just because like, it's so it's honestly it's insane like if anyone ever if you have ever blah the model looks great they both truly do they both do truly thank you like radio by the way good to see you i hope you're having a great day happy new year to you but um 
if you guys have ever questioned as to why VTubing is even remotely as expensive as it is, I want you guys to understand just like the amount of effort it takes just to make a model. Now, uh, I'm gonna show you guys here um, the layering behind my current, I wanna show, show you guys the differences between the amount of layers that are in this model. What's up, Dragon? Good to see ya. Um, let's see here, I'm gonna do this here. So you guys, so this here is an image of my OG model. Um, this was all the layers that was originally constructed for the model. You know, you got a couple parts here and there um, and so on, right? But then chat, you go over to what we currently have. You probably can't see it as well due to the white backdrop, but like every individual hair, the shadows behind the hair, our hips, our everything, like the amount of pieces that goes into a huge like VTuber model chat, it's so wild. And I'm very blessed to have watched the construction for both of these because I never, I never put into perspective for my own sake, like how much effort and time it takes to even make a model. But I'll tell you what chat, bam. And I just want to say like the only reason I was able to even remotely for this model is because of the awesome support from you guys in the community both financially emotionally because i'm not gonna lie to you guys like there was a point in my, in my days where i couldn't figure out if whether or not i wanted to keep doing vtubing mostly just because i didn't know if i was gonna receive uh i don't know what to think of it oh yeah <laughs> expressions i gotta i gotta get be careful because like i talk with my hands a lot chat and I have to remember that if I do this, if I hold my hands up in the air, it brings up my, my scared, my scared thing. Like, oh God, it's here, chat. Uh, <laughs> anyway, but yes. Um, but yeah, we have a lot. There's, there's so much like empathy and love that I have here. Okay, let's go back over. I'm gonna go back over to the wheel of, wheel of directions, chat. But yes. Remove. I am a graphic designer who makes sticker art. Hell yeah. Okay, let's go back over to show and tell. And we're gonna spin the wheel chat. The next thing we're gonna talk about, what we got? What you got, big fella? What you got, big fella? <gasps> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Of all the ones to get. Oh God! Oh, we have to tell you. I have to tell you guys about the cheese story. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay. Oh Lord and biscuits. Okay. We got the shit. It's fine. <clears throat> so, for those of you who have never been, who have there's actually a lot of people in our current community who have never heard of this story actually. So I'm prepared to be judged harshly by this. <clears throat> so. For those who do not know what the cheese story is, a couple years ago, back when I was streaming Sea of Thieves with my face cam, um, I had a really awesome mod by the name of Tiger Beast, whom uh, we were talking about our love for cheese, and they had bet me that my love was not as good as theirs. So I went into my refrigerator with absolutely no hesitation, and I said, yo, Here's an eight ounce jar of liquid queso. Let's get after it. And I grabbed a bowl, dumped the entire eight ounce jar into a bowl, grabbed a spoon, and then on camera, I consumed eight ounces of liquid cheese. That's not it though. Eventually, we, after, after like 10 minutes, someone, I think it was me, I probably instigated this, probably did. Um, someone instigated to me that Hey, if I drop you 10 subs, I bet you won't eat another uh, another can of cheese. And I said, all right, bet. A 10 bomb came in and I proceeded to look them dead in the eye and I consumed another eight ounces of liquid cheese in the span of 30 minutes. It was actually really delicious. Not gonna lie to you, like my insides just said nah, but it was delicious up until that point. And I became known as the cheese lord from then on forth, which is also why we have this lovely channel point redemption in F in homage to the absolute shenanigans of our lives, ladies and gentlemen. 
Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> all the cheese. But, uh, wait, actually, hold on. There should be all the fix out post stream because there's a there's a thing I want to have happen whenever someone uh, declares and obtains the cheese. The cheese, chat. The cheese. <laughs> I do love cheese, but that's a lot of cheese. Oh yeah, 100%. It is a lot of cheese. <laughs> but, but yes, I am known as the cheese lord with some of my more older and prolonged folks in our community. If you guys ever see why the cheese lord is there, that's why. Hell yeah. All right. It's time for, I need, I need to put the show and tell on my, uh, I need to put my show and tell overlay on my buttons. All right. Take two. Or take three, the next piece in our lovely thing. What do we got? Come on, big fella. I want to see something nice. Oh, oh, all right. We got to do our stream schedule. Game on Kawabunga, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who have not yet seen it, um, so for those who are in our Discord, um, I have a section known as Nico's Stream Time where every uh, Sunday or Monday, we typically will be uh, posting our stream schedule uh, for the week. And this week, chat, we got a pretty fair amount of things. Obviously, chat, we got our U our VTuber debut happening right here, right now. But then, chat, tomorrow, we'll be continuing our playthrough of Mass Effect, followed by our very first Dungeons & Dragons session as the VTuber Dungeon Master. Very excited about that, actually. And then, for, and then chat Friday, depending on how today goes, we're gonna be trying to complete the uh, Tron Legacy video game because, you know, Tron V2 we're playing Tron video game means epicness. And then of course chat Saturday is gonna be an offline. Now, I do wanna take a moment here to chat in order to uh, explain some of our upcoming changes within us as a streamer and us as a general channel. Why does ESC say 6 p.m. on Friday? Uh, on Friday? 12 p.m. EST on Friday. That's just because um, Fridays I can go live a little bit earlier. So the times get a little bit changed up. Um, now, speaking of change up chat, um, I've made a whole bunch of resolutions. I got, I need to change my hand gestures for that. I do that a lot. Anyway, um, so we'll be doing streams chat on Monday through Friday. Um, with our typical gaming streams over here on Twitch. Now, chat, I am going to declare something really fun. Um, I have decided that I will be taking part in YouTube Let's Plays. Uh, based off the voices of our community, um, our very first YouTube Let's Play series will be based on Subnautica. So if you guys would like to join and check out the, uh, the YouTube exclusive content, uh, I would check out our YouTube here today. Um, now, we're not going to be streaming on YouTube, but I'm going to be doing uh, one to two hour recording sessions and then make these into episodes on YouTube in order for myself, con uh, myself to uh, put more content out there. Because one of my big resolutions for this year chat is to not have as much complacency in what I'm trying to do, but then also to really, really, really push for a lot more stuff push for a lot more content in general because I, I want to make it. I want to do great things, chat. Also, and speaking of great things, chat, I want to show you guys another really badass toggle that I have here. So, in case you guys haven't seen this one yet, mask. We have a mask, chat. Nope. Ah. Yes, we have a mask, ladies and gentlemen. It's actually really, this is actually a really badass mask that uh, Kinemon made for me. Uh, it's kind of like a basic like miniature birthday present. Uh, I got this one really w lovely mask because, you know, I, I've always enjoyed the the concept of just like full face mask, you know, just something to like really do. Oh, yeah. You guys like my earrings, by the way? I don't know if you guys can see them at, with the mask on. Hold on. The mask stays on during sex. <laughs> but yeah, no, I got I got earring chat. It's funny. I showed a lot of my friends this model and a lot of them are like, my guy, I love that you're radiating bisexual energy. And I'm like, yes, we're here for it. Let's go. <laughs> but yeah, fun thing also chat. My mask also has um, fun toggles within it as well. So like I can actually turn on uh, 
I can actually turn on little uh, graphics inside the mask. So like whenever I'm like doing something, I can have like a whole plethora of stuff. <laughs> How's it going, Knight? Good to see you. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome into the debut. I hope you're having a blessed day. Great to have you. I know I met you over a year ago, but you've made my day every time I stream and you've made my year last year. Well, awesome. I'm really happy I could be a part of your awesome year, uh, Dragon. That really means a lot to me. Thank you very much. Oh, also chat. I don't know if I showed this right, but what's really cool about the, the game controller to chat is if I actually press WASD, the controller actually moves and like my fingers actually will will jiggle when we play games. So like if I'm playing Lethal Company with the crew, you know, we got this whole whole thing and I'm very excited about it. Um, I'm very, very excited about all this. So, but yeah, um, yeah, I. God, it, it, it's been so hard for me chat to like to keep myself like maintained because like I've been trying my best to to get things all all rolling and such and you know like one of the hardest parts about this whole thing too is just like you know I want to I want to do more I want to do a lot of like really badass stuff for our, just our community in general you know and I, I think it's I think we're gonna be able to do it okay I'm gonna see if I can do this without blowing up the uh without blowing up your guys' eardrums. Lovely. Now, word of warning chat. I, uh, I love them all. Well, thank you very much, Knight. I'm very, very excited about that. Guess what? It better be chicken butt. If it ain't chicken butt, Dragon, I'ma, I'ma smite you. No, even better yet, Dragon. I'll get, I'll get threatening. I'll be do, maybe, say chicken butt right now. Say chicken butt right now, big fella. Done. <laughs> ah, yes, chicken butt. Perfect. You are forgiven. You are forgiven in this instance in case. <laughs> but yeah. Um what's kinda of weird though, chat? I hmm I don't I don't know. I I'm still trying to like figure out like the whole my OBS thing because um my I can't like I personally chat right now I can't hear any music, but you guys can. So you have to do Strand subclass in D2? Nice. I like Strand Warlocks, personally. Strand Warlocks are very fun. Strand Warlocks are steepa cube. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's see. Try to... All right, we're going to go over to the just... Okay, chat. We're going to change over from special events to our magical just chatting segment. Because hell yeah. You main hunter? Nice. Ooh. Strand Hunter is actually insane. I actually will say Strand Hunter is absolutely insane, chat. Okay, chat. Next, we're going to go ahead and do another Wheel of Misfortune because ya boy out here doing the business. Okay, Wheel of Misfortune, what we got? Next thing, next thing, next thing. And survey says... Show you some art. Okay. You know what? Sure thing. I'll show you guys some more artwork. Give me a second. I got I to gotta log into the things and the stuff that I've done. Showing all the... The bits and the pieces here. All the things, all the stuff here. Oh, so yeah, guys. So one cool thing that's actually really cool is um uh so this is our art overlay. If you guys have never seen this before. Oh wait, no, that's our Xbox. Wrong thing. Oops. Aha. So you guys, so really cool thing about my uh about my profession, about the things that I do. Uh, this is actually a um. This is actually a, a large trade show that has a lot of the artwork that myself and my company made. Um, because what's really cool, chat, is I last year we've I did about I worked on about roughly 200 pieces of artwork, and about 50 of them that I personally made ended up getting uh, published. Like for example, if you guys can see it, like this big orange one over here on the back right hand side of this little screen, uh, that was made by me. We also have this really big shiny one that I made as well. And I love, I love being able to make artwork. You know, being able to make artwork is like, is super fun, lovely and fantastic. And I, I've been able to get a lot of uh, appreciation for my time and skills amongst everything. All art looks great. Thank you very much, Dragon. I appreciate that. Let's see. And then I was like, I think I had, Oh yeah, this was like this was actually my my last piece that I had gotten published chat prior to um 
this the end of 2023 um i got this like published like maybe an hour before our official vacation started and i was like hey but also chat for those who are joining us here today and are a little bit newer here uh, we will be doing our first official art stream starting tomorrow at noon mountain time. That's 2 p.m. Eastern Standard. Because um, I usually do my my job on art streams every Monday through Friday. Now, the reason why my art streams chat are not officially on the schedule, it's mostly just due to the fact that um, I myself do not have the most consistent workflow. And just because I have a bit of a scatterbrain, squirrel brain problem some days, I don't always guarantee an art stream. That's why I always typically put, put the gaming streams as guaranteed items because that way we can just know that we have a lot of really awesome stuff happening. So, hell yeah. And also chat, if anyone has any questions about either myself, my model or anything throughout the day, uh, this is an ask me anything sort of uh, opportunity. So, uh, Great success. Yay. Honest opinion, how was Mirage? Uh, Dragon, in my opinion, Mirage itself was a very cool style game. In my opinion, it brought back what I liked about the OG Assassin's Creed. You know, it was more about the story, less about the open world RPG status. Like, I didn't like the whole leveling system in the newest Assassin's Creed because like, because it just, and plus, I like that they also brought back the Creed itself. That was my biggest issue with a lot of the most recent stuff is that it was less about the creed and more about a character which i didn't mind it but it's called assassin's creed you know also you got a question what's your question what's your question i want to know what's your question <laughs> oh yeah so funny thing chat so um I was, uh, so I was going through, like, before, right before I was going through, uh, getting ready to go live today, uh, my buddy DJ Kisuke, uh, he came to me, uh, and talked about how, um, he came about how he wanted to make, wanted to know if I wanted to join into a WWE, like, circuit as a character, and I was like, yes! And, uh, one of their people on their Discord actually made a really cool video, and I got to saw what my wrestler looks like, and I'm like, yes! It's lovely, it's perfect, it's fantastic. <laughs> Would you consider Black Flag an RPG? I mean, technically it is, like all the Assassin's Creed's are RPGs to an extent. Um, but like Black Flag, like a part of me enjoyed Black Flag because of the ship, the ship fighting and the piracy things. Cause I, I've never had experience prior to that back in the day. So a lot of things there. All right, chat, Wheel of Misfortune, let's go. We're, we're doing pretty good on us. We're, we're getting through these things relatively well. All right, next thing we got here. Survey says... Oh. What is your VTuber inspiration? All right, let's get it. All right. So chat, so as you guys, as I said earlier, uh, my overall VTuber inspiration came from... Uh, Firstly, my love of Tron. Um, I love the color aesthetics, the universe, the music style. Like, I'm a really big techno head or house kind of guy. Um, and then the inspiration for the face chat came from me wanting to incorporate uh, Satoru Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen because right now I'm all about Gojo and I'm, I'm loving it right now. And then, of course, um, uh, another favorite anime of mine is Bleach and my favorite captain is Captain Hitsugaya from Bleach so when I approached my artist I basically said hey can I get like a uh, a handsome mid-20s character but then have like some semi messier hair and I'm like yeah because like I didn't want to go like chibi style but I also I didn't want to like I don't know I didn't know if I was going to become like a Genshin Impact VTuber you know what I mean because like I feel like that's like that's almost like a trend that's going on right now is that um a lot of like youtubers are like are becoming this uh like genshin impact themed when it comes to like their models you know like militaristic future tech but then it's like i'm like you know i like it i like why is that activating hmm. why are you activating I love the I that's what I think too. I just I love the expressiveness. I can just go hmm. I 
can move my mouth chat it's so funky like i i love 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 how this happens why do you have cats on there cats what cats why do you have cats i mean we technically have our cat model that we bring in for whenever my IRL cat decides that she wants to vibe with us. You know. She she gets she gets incorporated into the stream every so often, you know, because I love my cat. I have IRL cats. <laughs> I love them. But yes, I do and I still have my cat with me, chat. She's currently uh cleaning herself on my leg. With her sandpaper tongue, it hurts. <laughs> I am in great pain. Please send help. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, Wheel of Misfortune, go! I believe. I believe. Oop. Oh, okay. Indie or corporate VTuber? Okay. I think what I was initially at, like going for with this initial question, chat, is... So, obviously, chat, I am an indie VTuber. However... If the opportunity ever arose and I was given the opportunity to be a part of something, I would most likely attend and try to be a corp, like a, not just like a, an idol, cause I can't sing, but I can draw. Um, I would be, I wouldn't mind being a, becoming a corporate VTuber if, I, if the idea ever came about, you know? I think it'd be interesting. I think it'd be interesting to be a part of something of that scale, you know? But for right now, we vibe in as a corporate person. Yo, boy. Hell yeah. All right. Wheel of Fortune. That was a short one, but it's fine. Going fast. Going fast. What we got here? The next question is... <gasps> Lovely. Ah, uh, yes. Who is Geneva? Yes. So, chat, as I said, so we currently right now have three bots available in our uh, general system of shenanigans obviously you have the greatness of brian you have the greatness of brian chilling out here says, Hello, I am brian. and then of course we have our greatness that is jarvis eh. jarvis we have the, we have our jarvis individual hello i am jarvis yeah and then lastly, we have the shenanigans that is Geneva, who will probably smite the world in the event that she felt like it. So for example, chat, in the event that we ever get raided, we actually have a special raid thing for people. So yeah, so whenever we get raided, chat, this is what happens when Geneva finds out that we got raided. Now, chat, this is a fake raid, by the way, so don't think we get crazy all of a sudden. Maybe. Hostile forces detected. Raid yes. User alert: By car girl 220 had raided the channel. Geneva, activate sussybacker.exe. Born too late to explore the earth. Born too early to explore the universe. Born perfectly to Sussy explore the universe. Measure real raid happens. I know, right? God. <laughs> but yeah, no. So that is um, that is Geneva. She activates whenever we have raids, bits, subs, anything involving uh, alerts or any alert worthy uh, thing. And she has some sass about her too. I actually, I, I, we, we incorporated Geneva and I'm actually very excited to have like new voices into our stream. It's very lovely, very, very entertaining for me personally to have uh, Geneva here. <laughs> but yes. Geneva, we have Geneva, Brian, and Jarvis are our three main uh, individuals. All right, and then the next thing on our wheel of misfortune, let's see what we got here. Oh boy. Well, 
I love how we're, like we accidentally basically do that. But yeah, so to remind you all guys about what we're planning. So like I said, Monday through Friday, we'll be doing our normal art and gaming streams dedicated to Twitch and just showing some love there. And then chat on Friday, no, sorry, on Saturday and Sunday will be our YouTubing, our YouTube edit and record dates. Um, assuming that everything goes properly, I would like to say that I'm going to have a video available every Monday on YouTube. So that's the big thing. And the reason why I'm, I'm like I said, the reason why I'm changing like our whole schedule chat is mostly just because I want to, uh, the reason why I'm changing it up chat is like, because I streamed too much last year chat. I found that I streamed way too much. Uh, case in point chat, we streamed, what was that? What was our number from our recap? We streamed like well over 600 times. No, psych. We streamed like almost seven to 800 times during the year 2023 chat. Now that number is a lot. Yes, but we also only really streamed twice a day. Um, and we're still going to stream technically twice a day. One, because we have the, the time to do so, but then also just because like, it's not that hard for me to do so. But yeah, and I, I kind of came down to like the self revelation chat that, you know, although yes, I made a lot of streaming content, I didn't put enough effort into my more long form content, like, like YouTube, like TikTok, like case in point chat um, today or no, in the past two days alone, since I've been doing um, more TikTok shorts with my new model and such um, chat, we have earned, holy Christ. Um, I have earned over 22 followers and or 22 subscribers, um, 22 fo uh, subscribers to our YouTube in just two days chat. It took me a, it took me five years to even get a hundred. Took me a, five years to get a hundred chat and we got 20 in two days. So like your boy is learning a lot. We're doing a lot of stuff here, chat, and I'm here for it. Um, so yeah, I want to put more effort into YouTube. So hopefully YouTube leads to Twitch and then Twitch leads to YouTube and it just becomes like an infinite cycle of awesome stuff. Um, so that's the big hope. The big hope is to incorporate more YouTube into our lives and hopefully, um, kind of discover like what we can do as a content creator and as a channel, you know, the favorite for the content channel, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff <laughs> but but yeah and you know I, I'm, I'm hoping that as we do more and more items this year that we'll be able to um, hopefully push for more great things like yeah holy crap you know I'm not I'm not gonna let you I didn't think I was gonna be able to keep conversations going for an hour I didn't think I was gonna be able to do an hour of a debut holy 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 moly Mule, mule, mule. <laughs> I love the fact that Twitter can be called X, but everyone calls it Twitter. The only person that calls Twitter X is Elon Musk. Okay. Like that. He is the only person that calls Twitter X because no one calls it X. Cause it, it's just Twitter. It makes sense. X just sounds like a accidental site to the hub. You know what I mean? Same thing happens with Facebook. No one's going to call a meta. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I want to take a moment here to once again, a uh, big shout out to my man, DJ Kisuke, who is, oh, um, who is the orchestrator behind our two theme songs that we have for our starting soon screen and the music that you're hearing in the background right now. Um, Extremely talented individual. Very funny. He's got the gangster. He's got the memes and the gangster status. Peace, love, gangster status. Gangster shit. That's what it is. Peace, love, gangster status. Peace, love, gangster shit. Ooh. And he also runs an Ohio. He has, he has an Ohio podcast. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm very pumped. And hopefully, um, I'm going to try 
to incorporate some more things like so for example chat one thing i'm trying to work on right now like one of our, like our current main product is i am i am also making a dungeons and dragons overlay right now and we have a little dm hat <sighs> it doesn't work i'll have to fix that but anyway when we start doing our D, D stream chat we'll be doing uh things from here and i am excited because i get i'm gonna put a lot more effort into my dm things with my vtuber stuff so hopefully as things go well have a good time.